represents the ultimate expression of the design, the performance, and the technology of Cadillac. Uh, and it's the purest expression of the, the passion that's at the heart of the brand. And I think as you spend time talking with Dave and uh, John Buttermore and the rest of us, you'll find that that passion uh, is coming from a very genuine place. Our love for these cars and our love to, to make great performance luxury vehicles. Uh, and, and so it is the spearhead, the tip of the spear of the Cadillac uh, brand. It, it is the best of our product substance. So its job really is to help change the expectations of Cadillac. You know, what we're capable, what our cars are capable of. Uh, and to attract new customers. Uh, we can attract new customers to the brand with those attributes. And importantly, conquest customers from competing makes. Something that's very important to our continued growth. These, uh, the customers of the high performance luxury cars and, and of our V series, uh, they're also influential. These are the folks who uh, you know, make an effort to talk to friends about their cars. These are the folks that people ask about their cars. Uh, in the case of our V-Series owners, they are clearly the most enthusiastic um, advocates for Cadillac we have. They are eager, they're happy to share their excitement, their enthusiasm for Cadillac to anybody they can talk to. Them. So um, together, these, these two cars, ATS and CTSV, uh, really are the accelerator for the brand. Finding younger, more affluent customers, uh, enthusiastic, energetic customers, uh, and changing the image, building the image and strength of Cadillac in the marketplace. Since the inception of the V-Series back in 2004 with the first generation of the CTS, the uh, V-Series has been uh, driving remarkable performance and, and power uh, into the product range of Cadillac, uh, becoming part of our vernacular. With this first car, um, we introduced this to, to meet this market need. We, we saw this market opportunity. We had a brand need to change the, uh, the perceptions of Cadillac. Frankly, I think we surprised a lot of people with a performance variant to, of a Cadillac. And then as we got to the next gen, the second gen CTS, we improved the car greatly, took all the learnings from the first generation car, uh, and really set the V-Series on its path to be a tier one player among the top performance luxury vehicles in the world. And as we get into this third generation CTS, we uh, find these performance technologies are now uh, pretty well integrated throughout the rest of the Cadillac product line, like the magnetic ride control, uh, Brembo brakes, and really just the institutional knowledge and capability and skill uh, to develop world-class chassis dynamics in our vehicles, among other areas of the car. And now performance is becoming starting to be recognized as a signature for Cadillac. Uh, also, as we get into this third generation CTS V, uh, we're expanding the bandwidth of, of the V series. Now we have two two entries and two segments. Uh, we can broaden the appeal of V series with two distinct characters of cars: the ATS V and the CTS V. Well, the ATS V is a uh, you know it's a it's a compact, uh, youthful, tossable car. You know it's it's nimble, it's razor sharp. Uh, also, it's because it's more affordable than the last generation CTS-V, we've essentially lowered the barrier of entry to the, to the V-Series family. Uh, and its existence, the ATS-V's existence in our lineup, freed us up to reach even higher with the CTS-V. We've reached the higher levels of performance, higher levels of technology, refinement, luxury, all those things really give this car the tools it needs to go against the best of the best. So I start to get into some of the details and specifics about CTSV. The words on this screen represent the characteristics of Cadillac design. Uh, but let me make a particular demonstration of this last point, this idea of precision, and ingenuity, craftsmanship, integration of technology. Um, every exterior detail of the CTSV, all of the unique elements that uh, are on the exterior of this car, earn their way on the car for specific performance function. And Dave's going to go through that. As he walks through the car, he'll, he'll explain all those to you, but I'll take steal one, one bit of his thunder. Our available carbon fiber package, you see that on the white car behind you, uh, this brings additional style and performance to the CTSV. Uh, there's a deeper front chin spoiler, front gurney lips in front of the uh, front wheels, carbon fiber hood air extractor, a taller rear spoiler, and a carbon fiber rear diffuser. All these things work together to uh, reduce aero lift uh, and enhance the style of the, of the vehicle. 
but if you look closely, you'll find the exposed weave, carbon fiber weave on all those parts is uh, split and, and the, uh, the pattern is intentionally matched up and angled along the center of the car and it's called book matching. Um, so this is uh, clearly more difficult to do. It takes extra time, it takes extra money, uh, but it's one great example of the extra kind of care and attention to detail, frankly love, that goes into making a V-Series. And there are many more examples that uh, Dave will walk you through. As you get into the inside of the car, you find we've got a uh, driver-centric interior. We have our Cadillac characteristic cut and sew uh, interior trim. <coughs> but you find the performance elements, uh, first starting with the seats. Uh, the base seats are a performance seat with adjustable bolsters. We do have available Recaros, it's in many of these cars with just more aggressive bolsters. This forms the fundamental connection with the car, a very important starting point. The next point, you grab the sport steering wheel, a thick rim steering wheel with magnesium shift paddles for that next important connection with the car. And as you look past the steering wheel, we've got a specific V-Series 12-inch digital reconfigurable cluster and a head-up display so you can keep your eyes up and down the road and still monitor the vehicle. And then looking around, you can find the signature V-Series matte carbon fiber trim uh, throughout the car, along with suede microfiber accents, including a full suede headliner, which is standard on the CTSV, a nice, rich, luxurious element to the car. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is something that's going to apply to all of our 16 model year Cadillacs, with the exception of the SRX. Um, but we've made a significant enhancement and improvement to the Q uh, infotainment system. Uh, much like uh, 640 horsepower has transformed uh, the CTS into the CTSV, uh, changed the experience completely. Uh, we've put a new processor uh, in, into the Q system. Uh, it has three times the data processing speed, four times the graphics processing speed. So all the all the functionality of it just works better. Uh, the touch responsiveness, uh, the graphics loading, how quickly it finds a destination, how quickly it calculates a route, puts it up on screen, how quickly the uh, system boots up when you start the car, uh, the, the responsiveness and accuracy of voice recognition. All the features are enhanced by the better processing power. Uh, we've also done some graphics changes to the menus to make things more uh, intuitive and easier to use, some continuous improvement there. And then finally, uh, on, on the feature side, we've added uh, Apple CarPlay. So now we have fully integrated uh, from phone projection with Apple CarPlay. Uh, we'll add Android Auto later in the year, and that will be updatable, software to update for all the cars between now and then. Uh, so this gives customers a choice to use uh, perhaps a familiar look uh, and feature set that they have on, on their phone. Check that on the screen. We still have full uh, embedded nav uh, and, and SMS and voice rec uh, functionality in the car, but now it gives you this option to use either one. Okay, so not on the track, but maybe driving on the road, uh, take a moment to play with that and just experience how, how the system has improved. Okay?